Hey YouTube, what's going on? Overloaded here. We're doing a dual commentary today. Say hello. What's up? Overweight here. So uh, today we're going to be doing a domination match on Villa. And this particular match is one of the best games that we've had in a long time. We, uh, we're behind the majority of the match, but we, we pull it out by the uh, hair on our chinny chin chin. I don't want to give away the ending. Yeah. But uh, we think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, so as you can see, we start off on the A side, and uh, previously we were in the lobby. We had just joined this lobby, and you noted that there was a four-man clan on the other team. Yeah. And we decided to say, fuck it. I think it was the last game of the night, so we said, fuck it anyway. Yeah. We'll see what happens. From time to time, we're up for the challenge just to uh, make a clan angry. Sometimes it backfires on us, and uh, we end up rage quitting, but uh, we'll have to see how this one goes. Yeah. I've been trying a new tactic right there, as you saw. I, I popped around the corner and started shooting, but if I'm not if I'm not 100% sure I'm able to get somebody, I'll duck back behind that wall. So I don't know how many times you've had that because of game lag. Oh yeah. You get killed, but you know you're behind that wall. But they just have magic cornering bullets. <laughs> that whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I jump around here. I'm gonna try and take the C flag because my instincts are telling me their whole team has pushed up. Past B and they're trying to push up on A, but I didn't count on them spawning over here in the courtyard. And I get caught with a grenade. Being careless. That's what I get for not using black jacket. Black jacket. Black jacket is is a beast in this game, especially on domination. People uh, underestimate. It. There, there's me coming in there for uh, helping him out. He actually saved my life in that one. Yeah, you call it helping, and I think you stole my kill. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been dead without his help, but I did not see him laying there. A quick note, too. Uh, right there, you saw me taking B from the opposite side of the flag from where most people usually take it from. And I've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of good flag captures from there, because people run around those, two, those corners, and they immediately sight on the cart that's right there. And that gives me a chance to pull up my sights on them before they can sight on me. And Get those first few bullets in to make the make the difference in the kill. And you call yourself a team player. If you would have hurried up, you probably could have saved your teammates' life there. Boom! If you looked right there, he just got killed by a floating grenade. He killed the guy, shot him in the back, and his Simtex grenade stuck to air. Absolutely nothing, and he walks yeah, right you, into it. You need to go back and watch that because that was just what. <laughs> <laughs> Not to say he would have survived it, because it probably would have been on the floor, but it's just yeah. the fact it was floating. I think it was more of the fact that I caught it to the face, <laughs> rather than the lower area. Here, you get pwned. Yeah, I went ahead and went around the corner, because I have Tactical Mass Pro, so flashbangs really don't affect me that much. But uh, they also had smoke up, which I walked around the corner and couldn't see anything, so... Yeah, you couldn't see that in the video because of the... Uh, the theater mode, and everybody knows the theater modes. Sometimes doesn't show everything the way, it, the way it went in the game. I think they fixed the bug with the, the mismatch uh, gun emblems. Oh yeah? You'd randomly get some someone else's gun emblem, you have no idea who it is. Got a couple videos way. like that. I had one with the Steelers helmet on my gun. If you notice, uh, we have a, a guy on our team that is actually Pulling some pretty good weight here. He's, uh, I think he's working on at least his second SR-71, which helps out drastically. We're still losing, but uh, if it, it wasn't for those, yeah, there's there's a couple of times where they definitely give us the edge and let us at least keep the game closer, so that uh, we might actually have a shot in the end. If you notice right here, it's tied 69-69. Yeah, right. I just killed myself with my own. I was. I was stunned when I pulled my grenade out and I had no idea where I was facing. So I just threw it into the wall. <laughs> Throw it right into the wall so it lands right in front of you. Well, I figured it was better than just holding on to it. <laughs> oh, bastard. Black jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still running the Enfield here. I started running the Enfield early on in this uh, prestige and I really liked it, but I switched off to the, the Moss. Now I just 
Seems like it doesn't have the, the rate of fire you need to put down somebody running up a moss or a, a gullil or something like that. The accuracy is good. Recoils. Handleable, but I finally had to put it away. It's the fire rate. You know, you get two powerful bullets, but the moss you're putting like four. And it's just it just can't keep up. Yeah. After using this for so long, I'd be watching the kill cams with people with the moss and I'd say, God, you must have rapid fire on but that's just... A normal fire rate for that weapon. Anyways, through most of this match, uh, we've been pushing them pretty hard. Uh, we had one guy, like you said, the guy that's getting the black bros, he's also the one other guy that's pushing on the flags. And sometimes, you know, that's all it takes is just one more person to make the difference. One of us, one of us shoots down the counter spot. Both of us are crazy. HUD people, we love love having the UAV in the air, and we can't stand it when there's a jammer up. Yeah, I, I, I probably spend half the game looking at my radar, and then the other half looking at what's in front of me. That's how much I rely on it. So it's pretty crippling when the other team gets a counter spy plane. Yeah, we both have anti-air. You know, it's right there. I just said overweight destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Counter spy plane. Your air support's not going to be up for too long. I hear I'm trying to push them back off of the B flag so that we can make a move on it. We're having a little trouble getting them held back. Our team's not pushing out of this building. And you get killed right there. I was just about to help you take B, but... It's just that, that's, that's where communication helps, because if I went and I told them, gave them the heads up that I died, he might have just jumped out of that window pointlessly just, just to die because there's nobody nobody on the flag at that point. Just to be a bullet catch. So here, uh, that other teammate's back on the B flag and I jumped down real quick. Uh, oh, that was you on the flag. I jumped down real quick to try and help take it and of course, we're getting rushed again so I'm having a lot of trouble getting this B flag back. You can see we're down about 25 points at, at this point in the game. SR-71 ready for launch. I get my Our SR-71 is in the air. Uh, Blackbird right there. Charlie. If you and if you Cobra notice the now they're holding that whole back alleyway there pretty good. Which on this map I kind of think is the better thing to do because you can <laughs> flow between B and uh, C pretty easily. A is kind of secluded by itself. Yeah. But if you let them set up shop in that building that overlooks B, it could be really hard to take B back. Yeah, because they spawn back on the A flag and can easily just walk right into that building. They'll just keep coming in there until you flip their spawn somewhere else. So here I get my napalm strike and I throw it down onto the B flag to try and help you guys, but I, didn't, I don't realize at the time that... Uh, Right when I'm putting it down, everybody trying to take the B flag gets killed. So that didn't really do much. And I'm sitting here going, what the hell happened? <laughs> so wasted, wasted napalm strike there, unfortunately. I'm trying to get back to it, but that, that guy that he just killed was back there. It took me out before I could make it around the corner. Fucking Claymore. So we're, yeah, we're, we haven't pushed back now. There, we take the B flag. You take the B flag. Yeah, I would say. With our other uh, helpful teammate, he's not. He wasn't playing with us. He was just a random we met. In the you got taken out by a sentry gun, which is now gone. Yeah, uh, I, I was a little bit lost there for a second. I was coming back to take the sentry gun out, but you got it just before I got there. I was a little confused. Now we've got them pushed back onto their sea flag. They're spawning in the back of the courtyard over there. I get taken Five out. Standing by. So we've got them where Moving we want them, unfortunately. They pushed around A. And they're going to take A. And so right now they're, and taking, they're B. taking B. So we are just getting... This This whole game is just a spawn flip fast. We are all over the place. We... we we were having so much trouble with B that we were constantly, you know, trying to sneak around to the backside, take their take their back flag to make them push one way or the other. Yeah. And then we had nobody on A. They'd spawn A, take A. Boom. Immediately, I'm trying to take out this counter spy plane. I can't see it. Right behind the flag. Yeah. Right behind the 
behind the flag. I missed it. We lost Alpha. And you, I believe you got that. Yeah, I was I was on the flag. Is the reason I wasn't. I was trying to take B, and I just got killed. Right there, I get knifed. That have been done. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so I spawn back there with him, and we take it. Fucker. <laughs> And theater mode fail. There we go, back up. Okay. That's a quick note. Well, how long is this? Like 10 minutes, I think? Yeah. And then the screen goes dim. <laughs> Little ghost there, hiding in the corner, probably thinking that uh, his ghost is keeping him from appearing, but not for the SR-71. All three of us jump that B flag to take it real, real quick. Oh, we're holding the CB. It's just constantly flags, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now they're taking B back. We got 178 to 192. Now watch the score right here. This is at, at the end of this match. I was screaming. Oh, look at him wake up the kids. So 184 to 194. We've got B and C, and I get killed right here. And I'm thinking I'm not be able to defend the B flag anymore. Flash to shit. I'm run over here, I defend C real quick, just long enough. And as you can see on the map, one of our teammates goes around to flank the A flag. Right here, we get a triple cap. 199, 194. For the win. The one guy, one guy is all it took. And we pulled out a win for a last second triple cap win. 200, 199. They were pissed off. And I was, that was, oh. I love watching this game over and over again. But anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't re uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, go check out our channels. Yeah, there'll be a, a link to mine in the uh, description. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, check out that uh, that score too. Not bad. <laughs> Catch you guys later.